Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It has been three and a half months since I've said those words, and man, does it feel good. It just feels so good to be back. I have missed you all so much. I cannot get the smile off my face. I was kind of waiting for the right day, the right time, the right feeling to start vlogging again and I quickly realized that was just not going to come. I needed to push myself to do this, I'm going to be honest, and the reason is I just feel like I'm kind of like starting fresh, like starting over. I've been doing YouTube for three and a half years and the nerves that I had building up to this day and to start recording this video have really been crazy, which is so weird because I became such a natural when it came to vlogging and YouTube and the whole thing. But taking time off, you know, it's kind of just like, this hasn't been a big part, well, it's been no part of my life for three and a half months. So starting it up again, it's just gonna take a bit of time. So please bear with me whilst I kind of re-align myself to vlogging and to recording myself just on my own, in my own house, which was so, so normal to me and all of a sudden feels super strange. And please kind of eliminate the noises that you're hearing. I'm sitting outside on my balcony, which is a new addition to the house. For those of you who wouldn't know or don't follow me on Instagram, we have added outdoor furniture to our patio, but we'll get into that in a little bit. Um, I first want to kind of describe, or, or rather not describe, but talk through the reason um, why I took such a, a big absence, I guess. And while it doesn't require too much detail, because it honestly was just to kind of take a break. I do think it's important for you guys to hear the background of it all. I have, as you know, moved to Cape Town this year and I'm a creature of habit so change in general is hard and it takes me time to adapt to change and I think adding in YouTube, a change of my, my studio for Pilates which is what I which is what I do as a career, I'm moving into a new house, being away from my family, there were a lot of variables that I was dealing with and a lot of things that were changing and I felt like I just needed to put my time, my focus and my effort into kind of just settling settling in Cape Town settling in this new way of life and adding YouTube to that felt a little bit unaligned because I was portraying myself in one way on YouTube because I never want to bring people down and then felt a different way in real life and it's just not me it didn't feel authentic and I didn't want to continue on like that so I've used the last three and a half months to settle to become accustomed to my new way of life to become accustomed to my new studio my new clients and our new house and I'm so glad I did that I have no regrets I needed those those three and a half months I needed that time and I kind of feel like now I'm ready more than ever to tackle my YouTube channel and to give it everything I have and to really make it what I want to make it so in a nutshell that is where I've been. I've just been adjusting and I've been living and I've been trying to immerse myself in my new life, which I am very happy to inform you guys that I've done so. And I feel super settled and I feel very happy and very at home in Cape Town with all the noises, with the chaos, with everything. I feel, I feel like this is what I've always wanted and I didn't feel that way a few months ago, but having lived here now, for three, well, what would it be? Not even, five months. It's it's a beautiful, beautiful city and it's been more than I could have dreamed of. So I'm so happy to be able to say those words because truthfully, when I was last vlogging, I was not feeling that way. But now that that is done and dusted and that is the reason I've been gone and the reason for my my absence, I can, I can move forward from that and we can all pick up where we left off and continue sharing my life. I am currently sitting on my balcony, which I will show you guys in a little bit. I am finishing my breakfast, the huge. It hasn't changed, you guys. I'm still having my granola, my strawberries, my blueberries, my yogurt. It is still a staple in my day. Um, still my homemade granola as well. So I'm going to finish that whilst taking in the view, taking in this beautiful day. We are finally getting into summer, which feels so good as well. And we'll just continue catching up throughout the day. of the day and she's delish i am just sitting down at my laptop i actually have a chat tonight through an app called panda health i'm doing like a food freedom and intuitive eating um discussion on their on their on their platform and funny enough i started this youtube channel and my instagram my love from lisa social media off the basis of intuitive eating and food freedom um and like body confidence so it's kind of like a 360 it feels so strange to be you know kind of sharing that kind of content again because as much as i practice 
practice it in my real life i don't really share much about it anymore but i always feel like a little bit of a pull to share about my my nutrition and my eating and my food freedom ways i don't know it's a bit of a dodgy one because i don't want anyone to think i'm like trying to influence them in any sort of way or you know it's a very touchy subject so i need to be quite specific with what i share on that topic um but what i'm going to do is kind of just sit down now and i don't necessarily want to write out what i'm going to speak about because i obviously wanted to come from the heart and be um, authentic but i do want to make a few points um as to what i'm going to discuss because sometimes an hour session can be quite long when um people don't ask questions because the last time i was on the app i kept saying you know like ask me something about it and i'm happy to answer but i think because of obviously people's want to be anonymous not many questions were asked so what i'm going to do is almost like put questions out and answer them myself <laughs> so that i know that i'm filling that hour with you know good valuable content so i'm just gonna sit and have my coffee and do that just ignore the noise but i wanted to show you our new balcony furniture honestly it's been such a game changer josh and i wanted to invest in balcony furniture for the summer winter was a bit rough i'm not gonna lie it was windy and rainy and miserable 99.9 percent .9 of the time so it didn't really feel worth the investment during the winter but now that it's summertime and the sun sets a whole lot later we wanted to get some outdoor furniture so that we can kind of have like sundowners watch the sunset sunrise in the morning with some coffee and and also just like make the house a little bit more homey honestly since getting it and introducing it into our balcony i really feel like our home feels so much more like a home and just it just put it together so much nicer than having like an empty bare balcony so we're very excited about it and feel very good about the decision we made and the investment we made because it's not a cheap one but it's well worth it and as i say it just feels so much homier so much cozier and it gives us such a beautiful morning and evening like start to the day and into the day so let me show you as per usual please just bear with me when it comes to the noises we do live in a very busy part of cape town so we got this uh these two like lounge chairs you could say from um patio warehouse as well as this table which actually is a chair that we have makeshifted into a table purely because we like the fact that the uh like charcoal color went together really well and these two pillows so the little like occasional pillows you could say okay, decorative pillows are from mr price home i actually bought them back when we lived in Joburg they weren't really serving much purpose they were in a cupboard so I thought I'd bring them out because they were really reasonable like they were oh, to be quite honest they were quite cheap I thought it would be a nice thing to keep outside just because obviously they will wear a little bit quicker and I didn't want anything too expensive and then the carpet is um, from Superbless it was quite reasonable we really love it I think it just pulls everything together really nicely obviously the braai isn't ideal to the aesthetic but it's necessary being in South Africa we have lots of rice so we do love that and it's great for like entertainment purposes and obviously the black cover of the braai kind of mixes in with the carpet and the dark aesthetic mixes in with the table and we we are very happy with it we love it so a little bit of a view from here i just am obsessed with it another very exciting and quite necessary purchase was this beautiful jasmine plant we got this a couple of weeks ago and it's been a game changer we got it when the flowers hadn't um kind of come out yet there were still little buds and it's smelled incredible it has made this apartment and this balcony smell so fresh literally smells like spring and then we got a um, i don't even know what color this is it's like a very neutral base obviously to plant it in and unfortunately the flooring is kind of staining because i keep feeding it and it like drains at the bottom and it stains the floor so if anyone has any tips and tricks on that i would very much recommend it ah, recommend it appreciate it um so yeah that is kind of our balcony I said i'm very happy about it i feel like as i said it's such a game changer it just feels so good it feels so homey so cozy and truly one of the best purchases we've made for apartment i want to say our apartment's almost like 99 percent complete we have one or two more things that we want to get i actually really want to get a new rug for our lounge because the one that we have is jute and it's just peeling and going everywhere and then we also want a picture or a, a portrait or a framed something above our couch kind of like tie the lounge together so those are the two other purchases we want to make and then i would say our apartment is pretty much done
Okay guys, so I'm gonna head to the shops very soon and I thought I'd just show you the recipe that I'm making for dinner tonight. So it's a sun-dried tomato pasta recipe and it's so simple. It's actually vegan. It's from Deliciously Ella's quick and easy cookbook. And I thought I would make this pasta tonight. So I just need to get the ingredients as well as mixing it with some leftover steak that we have. So I know that kind of defeats the purpose of it being vegan, but I thought it'd be a nice simple pasta recipe to make because I've got quite a busy afternoon. So I'm going to go to the water front now to go buy the groceries for this recipe as well as a book. I feel like every night before I go to bed I'm feeling very anxious. I'm scrolling Instagram and seeing all the horrendous things that are going on at the moment. I just don't want to be ending my day like that because I really struggle to fall asleep. So I'm gonna go buy a nice light-hearted hopefully Colleen Hoover love story and hopefully that will just kind of be a little bit of a better end to my day, a little calmer um, for my mind and hopefully that will work because I really have been thinking so much before I go to bed and it's just not a really healthy way you know to end your day so that is the plan and go buy some groceries hopefully a nice book and we'll see where the rest of the day takes me I'm on the way home from the shops. I had a very successful little shop. I got the cutest little plant for our kitchen because the one part of the house that I feel like needs a little bit more greenery is our kitchen. We don't have any like plants or anything really in the kitchen. So I'm hoping it fits underneath our like shelf. We'll have to see and yeah, if it doesn't, there's always gonna be another space for it, but it's so cute. And then I got all the groceries and I bought a different book than I thought I was going to. I bought the book Beach Lovers. I was reading the back of all of Colleen Hoover's books and they were also kind of like a little bit depro whereas this Beach Lovers book just feels so light-hearted it feels summery it just feels like the vibe I'm after very chuffed with my little shop escapade 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 whatever that word is and I'm on route home I'm like five minutes from home I'm making myself some lunch I'm packing my groceries and I actually have a little meeting before my chat tonight just to kind of like familiarize myself again with the app that I'm using so but a little bit of stuff to do when we get home but it's been such a beautiful day the weather's stunning and I'm just in such a good space I had my little call to check out the Panda app again and I feel ready for my session. I will go through my like content once more before I do the live call. Um, but I'm actually going to go on a little coffee date now with my friend. I haven't seen her in like a week and I know that sounds extreme but we literally see each other like every second day. So we're gonna go fetch some coffee. She's not feeling the best. We were gonna go for a walk but I think we're gonna give that a skip. We're just gonna fetch coffee, go back to her house and just have a little, a little coffee date, catch up. And then I'll come home. I'll prep dinner and I'll eat a nice early dinner before my call and then we're gonna have a nice cozy evening. From a very cute little coffee date we ended up staying at the seattle and it was so beautiful the waves the ocean the view the ambiance was amazing um but i'm about to make dinner so that i can kind of just like shower and get ready for the evening you can see how greasy my hair is it needs a wash quite badly so i'm just gonna make dinner now i did realize i needed a nutri bullet for like the sauce um i don't have one anymore i have the snake blender and i don't know if that's gonna work so we're gonna see i'm gonna trial it i hope 
it does work because I don't have another option. But yeah, I'm gonna get a head start on dinner. I think I'm gonna make it and like literally fully make it, even the pasta, and then just heat it up later um, when I wanna eat. And then when Josh gets home from his event, he can heat it up and eat. Because that's kind of the last thing I wanna do today. Then I wanna shower and I wanna go over all my notes for my, my chat. So that's the plan. Let's do it. dinner is all ready to go i literally just need to add some of that steak but it's already cooked so that's nice and easy i had a nice shower i'm feeling fresh and clean for the next hour i just want to go through what i want to speak about and just like make sure i'm ready for my chat um it's only in an hour so i feel like i've got a nice amount of time to just read through read through my notes and then hopefully josh will be home and we can have dinner together after my chat which will be quite late it'll be at eight i was going to eat before but i'm just not hungry right now I've, I've been snacking and i had that coffee quite late so i'll wait for josh to get home and then once i'm done my little discussion we can eat dinner together we've literally been out every night this week my mom and dad were here from arabella and josh's parents are here from Joburg. so we went on my family dinners literally monday tuesday wednesday and tonight's thursday um so we're gonna hopefully just have a nice evening, just the two of us, have a yummy dinner and have a nice chill. It's a beautiful evening, the clouds are coming in, so I'm thinking it's gonna be a little bit miserable tomorrow, but that's okay. We had a nice day today, so we've gotta to take the good and just accept the bad sometimes. It's not the end of the world. At least we had one good day. But yeah, I'm gonna go and do a little bit of prep and then I will chat to you guys later. guys it has come to the end of a very beautiful very long day i'm feeling quite tired um but the chat went really well it was i don't know it was just like actually went very quickly so i didn't answer everyone's questions the hour was done it was just a lovely lovely chat lovely day so good to be back i'm so happy to be vlogging and recording again for you guys it just feels so right the only way i can describe this is it just feels like me again and it just feels so good so i'm so excited with the first video down i feel like that was like the first hurdle just had to get over that hurdle so that i feel a little bit more comfortable and just like back in action you know but um i'm gonna head to bed very soon so i thought i'll just close out this vlog and i cannot wait to see you guys again very soon mm -hmm.